a isothermal process temperature should be the same temperature will not change temperature is a constant argane band murtu temperature does not change temperature remains constant and that is what we call pressure na yav riti define martira force per unit area but temperature is remaining constant boyle's law and charles law hello students let us continue our discussion on the topic thermodynamics before i could cling on to today's discussion let us recall the concepts that we have done in our previous class where we understood the statement of the zero law and the physical significance of the quantity called temperature the conclusion of the zero law is that temperature is that physical quantity which will decide whether two thermodynamic systems will be in equilibrium or not and finally we also understood the statement the mathematical form and the limitations of the first law continuing my discussion today we will clearly understand what is an isothermal process and having understood what is an isothermal process we will derive an expression for work done by an ideal gas during an isothermal process so continuing further my book work today is to define an isothermal process isothermal process and to derive an expression for work done by a ideal gas very important ideal gas during an isothermal process see here very specifically when i say work done i am referring to the expansion of the gas what is the work done by the ideal gas to expand how much of work done by an ideal gas to expand expansion of the gas and when i say expansion of the gas it is nothing but change in volume gas expand aagtidage adr volume change agutalva makle as the gas is expanding as it is doing some work its volume changes therefore now we will understand what is an isothermal process and having understood that i 
have to derive an expression for work done by an ideal gas to expand. Therefore, to begin with, we shall understand what is an isothermal process. Please to know this is the implication of whatever you have studied as Boyle's law. Previous chapter ali, Boyle's law ten heel kutti dini. Adhr implication ne isothermal process sunt karithi vi. Now, yeni physical process or in simple terms any process where pressure and volume of a system is changing yenin change agutte pressure and volume so any process where the pressure and volume of a system changes at constant temperature pressure change agutte volume change agutte but temperature is remaining constant. Such type of a process is called isothermal process. So very beautifully, what is isothermal process? It is a process a physical process where pressure and volume of a system of a gas is changing under constant temperature. Temperature does not change and that is what is called isothermal process. And know that Boyle's law defines an isothermal process. If you go back, we have written an expression PV is equal to constant when temperature remains constant. The product of pressure and volume is remaining constant when temperature remains constant. This is the implication of Boyle's law. To summarize again, isothermal process and renun takardvi. It is a process where pressure of a system changes. Volume of a system changes, but temperature does not change. Temperature remains constant and that is what we call isothermal process. And which law defines an isothermal process? It is Boyle's law. And therefore now, after understanding an isothermal process, I will mathematically derive an expression for work done by a gas, work done for expansion by an ideal gas during isothermal process. Nenpidiga. Initial considerations. What are my assumptions for the derivation? 
very simple consider one mole of an ideal gas gas which obeys both the gas laws Boyle's law and Charles law realistically or physically it is not present but we are considering one mole of an ideal gas placed inside a conducting cylinder one mole of an ideal gas one mole placed inside a conducting cylinder fitted with a frictionless piston and this is a conducting cylinder so conducting cylinder conducting cylinder and heat can be supplied to this system it conducts it allows heat to pass through it so there is a conducting cylinder what is placed inside it we have one mole of an ideal gas the working substance here is an ideal gas so one mole of an ideal gas and there is a frictionless piston so i call this as a frictionless piston and iron rod which is inserted into the cylinder so the description is very beautiful conducting cylinder a cylinder which allows heat to enter into the system it is conducting in nature one mole of ideal gas and a frictionless piston now my question is why frictionless what happens if there is friction friction is drain agate automatically there is loss of energy in the form of heat yelli friction exist agutte alli energy is lost in the form of heat i don't want that to happen therefore i have used a frictionless piston conducting cylinder one mole of an ideal gas friction less piston now i supply some heat external heat to the cylinder heat energy in the form of heat is given to the cylinder this one mole of the gas will absorb that heat energy the kinetic energy of this particle will increase it starts expanding its volume changes now heat is supplied to the cylinder you are giving some heat energy to the conducting cylinder kinetic energy of the molecule has increased it starts expanding which means 
its volume goes on increasing as volume is increasing it is pushing the piston above now i say the piston is displaced by a distance dx initially illittu piston yavaga volume jaasti aitu yavaga gas expand aitu the position of the piston is found here which means it is displaced by a small factor what i call as dx nodi is to beautiful agi the phenomenon you are supplying heat the molecule is absorbing that heat there is expansion seen there is increase in volume the piston is displaced by a factor dx therefore now the work done to displace the piston has to be calculated when you are moving that piston when the piston is getting displaced some amount of work is done how do i calculate that work mechanically we told work is force into displacement this is the general definition for work how do you define work work is nothing but equal to force into displacement no my dear students the whole show is to show there is a change in pressure and volume which means i have to introduce the pressure and volume terms in my equation so follow here we know pressure is force divided by area pressure na yav rithi define martira force per unit area so pressure is force divided by area or force is pressure into area so i have got one term what i required which is pressure so pressure is force divided by area or f force is pressure into area so this force is nothing but pressure into area displacement is nothing but dx now observe a into dx what is a area in dimensional formula area ge l square dx displacement some distance some length whose dimensions is l so l square into l is l cube which is nothing but volume so i got volume also so a into dx is nothing but volume so a into dx is dv dx small displacement small change in volume so a into dx is dv which is increase in volume so going back again work done to move the piston is force into displacement dw small amount of work 
to displace the piston by a small distance dx. Force is pressure into area. A into dx is dv, which is increase in volume. Now, I want to expand the gas from an initial volume V1 to a final volume V2. I say the initial volume of the gas is V1 and the final volume is V2. So the gas has to expand from V1 to V2. Certain amount of work, considerable work has to happen, which is got by integrating equation 1. Then previously Haley there, integrating is again nothing but sum, finding the total sum, which is symbolized by an elongated yes, small interval galna. Small piece galna add madre, you get the total sum adne integration. So now I have to integrate equation one. Not it beautiful? DW small amount of work done to increase the volume by a small factor dv. If considerable change in volume has to happen, work done has to be significant. That is why we are integrating equation 1. So first, I integrate, I introduce this integration symbol on both sides. So integral dw. Enun tottivi integral dw equals integral p dot dv. Now, this is interesting. You are integrating between two limits. One the lower limit and karitivi, in on the upper limit and karitivi. Lower limit is the initial boundary from where you start with. Initial volume is V1. Therefore, it is called lower limit, which is written at the bottom of the integration symbol. Upper limit, maximum elitanka hoktivi, the maximum value, the peak value where we stand. That is called upper limit, which is written at the top of the integration symbol. Lower limit is V1, upper limit is V2. Now we know the ideal gas equation which says PV equals RT. Remember, perfect gas equation, ideal gas equation. We wrote PV equals RT from which P equals RT divided by V. I can substitute the value of P here. So what is P? RT divided by V. Universal gas constant. Now, substituting for P, Integral dw, left hand side a little va, integral dw, p, integral p badlo, rt divided by v, 
into dv it's very simple i have just substituted for p which is rt divided by v still the lower limit is v1 upper limit is v2 if follow my left hand side yen integral dw andre it is nothing but dw plus dw plus dw etc i am adding small work done dw plus dw plus dw ella small instant of work na add madidre i get the total work done alva makle dw 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 small amount of work done when i add i get total work done adre illi w ant bardirodu right hand side ig barana first principle of integration elli constant gal irutte adanna integration symbol inda horagade takko banni wherever you have constants pull them out of integration symbol are constant amakle yes sir universal gas constant horagade takko bandibutte t constant a change aagta irutta yen agbodu sir isothermal process temperature should be the same temperature will not change temperature is a constant horagade bandibuttu so pv equals rt beautifully physics nodi alle constant so r is a constant v is a constant what remains within the integration symbol 1 divided by v volume change aagtide v1 to v2 see the beauty here this expression means the volume is changing from v1 to v2 adan limits of integration boundaries of integration nant kariyodo initial limit from where did the volume start v1 where did it end v2 now there is a formula which says integral of dx by x is log e x standard formula 12th standard alli your math teachers will teach this now just know integral dx by x is log e x illi enide dv by v ide alva so integral dv by v ಈ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಏನಾಗಬೇಕು ಲಾಗ್ ಇ ವಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಇಂಟೀಗ್ರಲ್ ಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಇ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟೀಗ್ರಲ್ ಡಿ ವಿ ಬೈ ವಿ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಇ ವಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ i have got the integral value of dv by v which is log e v idin solve maardaga but still i have done nothing with the limits now still write lower limit is v1 upper limit is v2 artha maarkoli integration kate mugidoyitu integration dv by v is log to the base ev int gotagoitu a value n barde adre limits na solve madbekalva adru bagge nam inenu madilla adak hage bardidini lower limit is v1 upper limit is v2 va nivu nordaga If factor ಇಫ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ 
2.303 ಅನ್ನೋದು ಯಾವುದೋ ನಂಬರ್ ಬರೆದ್ಬಿಟ್ರಲ್ಲಪ್ಪ ಮೇಸ್ಟ್ರು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ದ ಬೇಸ್ ಇ ಲಾಗರಿತಮ್ ಟು ದ ಬೇಸ್ ಇ ಎನಿ ಲಾಗ್ ಟು ದ ಬೇಸ್ ಇ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಸಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಲಾಗ್ ಟು ದ ಬೇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಬೈ ಅ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ನಾಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಎಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಲಾಗ್ ಟು ದ ಬೇಸ್ ಇ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ into natural log yen karitivi log to the base 10 anta yav riti convert maadkolodu ee log e hogbeku 2.303 in multiply maadi that is what i have done so 2.303 rt ನಾವು ಇದು ಹೇಗೆ ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡ್ತು ನೋಡಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇ ಎಲಿಮಿನೇಟ್ ಆಗೋಗಿದೆ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಲಾಂಗರ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಇ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಬರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬೇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಅದೇ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ಲಾಗ್ ರಿತಮ್ ಬಟ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ವಿ ಒನ್ ನೌ ನೋ ಹೌ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವೇರಿಯೇಬಲ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಗುಡ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಬದ್ಲು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ದಿ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ದ ಲೋವರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌ ವಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಲಾಗ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಟೂ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ನಾಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ನ ಇ ಹೋಟೋ ಇತ್ತು ಸೊ ಲಾಗ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿ ಲೋವರ್ ಲಿಮಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಐ ಹವ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಬಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಎ which is log b by a this can be written as log b by a which is log b minus log a formula so 2.303 rt log v2 by v1 and this is the work done for one mole of an ideal gas to expand one mole na consider madidre work done to expand in terms of volume is 2.303 rt log v2 by v1 if i consider n moles just introduce n so this is the work done by n moles of an ideal gas to expand 2.303 nrt log v2 by v1 in terms of volume now we know p1 v1 is p2 v2 or v2 by v1 is p1 by p2 so in terms of pressure do you know v2 by v1 is there v2 by v1 is p1 by p2 so this is the work done by n moles to expand in terms of pressure so dear students in today's session very beautifully we have understood what is an isothermal process how much of work done is taken up by the gas to expand during an isothermal process both in terms of pressure and volume
In my next session, we will extend the same discussion for an adiabatic process. Until then, in Martira, enjoy, but still take a sheet of paper, practice this derivation, very much asked in the exam. We'll return back for the next session. Stay fine, stay healthy. Thank you.